What's going on, Herd? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in to another video. And we got another Formula Drift build here today as I continue practicing my skill in the drifting game here. Now, obviously, we are still on Forza Horizon 3, and we'll be here for a while until old Forza Horizon 4 does release. But obviously, I'm trying to increase my skill. I'm trying to get up to a, to a place where I feel a little bit more comfortable. I'm not too comfortable with my drifting skill. So in the meantime, until I'm comfortable with my drifting skill and I can actually tune a vehicle to my own specifications, my own liking, I'm kind of just going off of the way that real deal Formula Drift cars have been put together. Now, I know that that kind of goes hand in hand. You know, obviously, I'm learning a little bit every single car I put together. I'm um, trying to build it as real world as I can. So we've really only done two FD cars, but we also did um, Adam LZ Skyline, or close to it as I thought I could get, although it was not as close as I thought I could get. So technically, this is episode two in the series. This is James Dean's S15 Sylvia. This is one of two. This They did build two pretty much identical vehicles, and this was in the 2017 Formula Drift series. So we are going to bring you through the build. We're going to show you guys what we did, why we did it. Then we're going to take off. We're going to go try to find some drifters online, and we're going to hit some spots. I don't know if I'm actually going to hit this same old parking lot over and over and over that's starting to get a little stale to me but i do like actually drifting with people so if that's the only place i can find drifters dang it uh, we're probably gonna find ourselves there for a little while so let's get to the build and let's see what we did here nissan has a long history going all the way back to the birth of the japanese auto industry but most importantly, their cars have always looked good and been an absolute hoot to drive. They've made some of the best-selling sports cars ever, like the 510 and the 240Z. The Nissan 240SX was popular because it had a powerful engine in the front and its drive wheels in the rear. Know what that means? It drifts like it's on ice. Nissan picked up its first international win on its very first try right here at the 1958 Australia Mobile Gas Trial. So upgrades, and this thing has a lot of them. Now, we're not gonna go through all of the stuff that we did, but the first thing, well, I guess we probably will go with all that we did. We did the Rocket Bunny body kit, obviously. That's what he's running in real world, so that's what we gotta do. Left it rear wheel drive, obviously. It's a drift car, but here's the deal. He's running two JZ engines with a single turbo, now the stock just isn't quite near that level, so we kind of had to go up and we ended up going with a 2.6 liter inline six twin turbo. And that's gonna be pretty much the closest thing that we could get to the 2JZ. Now, if you go past that, you're in a V8 and you're in the rotary engines. So this is where we did end up. We're at 748 horsepower with 565 foot pounds of torque and we're at just over 2,500 pounds. Now we kept the Rocket Bunny look. The wheels, we tried to get as realistic to the wheels design that he has. I don't think we're running the exact brand or anything. I didn't get too set on that. But uh, these are pretty much the closest thing I could get to the actual car. When it comes to drivetrain, we did everything here just to simply allow us to tune the car up. You know, if you do that, you can tune the car a lot better, your differential, all that good stuff. Performance and handling, we did all of this. We lowered it all the way down. We did the strip. We got it all the way stripped out, getting it as light as we could. And obviously the upgraded brakes. Um, the engine, since we did go to the twin turbo, it allows you to do everything. And we did everything just like they would in FD. They replace everything and they go through everything. This is as close as we could get with this thing. Now, I am very happy with this build. So I do want to shout out TUS Curtis for putting this one together. He did a phenomenal job on this vehicle. Very, very well done. Um, obviously, you're just looking at the livery. So, so we are out. We are going to go hit the streets and we're going to do some drifting. So we'll start it off by wandering on over to the old uh, typical area. So obviously it has been kind of tough to find a good drift lobby thus far here in my Forza Horizon 3 experience. Now I say that a little bit exaggerated because I have found some good drifters. It's much better drifters than I am. People that can really hold that angle and really throw that angle pretty ridiculously. Now the deal here is, is um, there's a lot of lower skill drifters that are right there to follow. A lot of people that are just picking their own lines and not sticking in the line that everybody else is drifting. And that just makes it, it makes it tough. I think we got some drifters hitting a little drift line up here we're going to try out. Now I'm going to sound like an idiot for saying this, but I don't really care because I'm trying to learn as much as I can. 
Is this sponsor, the main sponsor of this vehicle, is it Worth House or Wart House? Comment below. And don't just spell out the word. Tell me. Worth House or Wart House? that up it was looking real pretty there for a second but i just didn't quite have the speed because that damn traffic I definitely notice a lot of people rocking that uh, the first gen there RX-7. I don't know if it's the first gen, but this older model RX-7. I absolutely love this car. Like if I could get a, oh my goodness, what are you doing to me? If I can get a real world drift car and actually start building on it, and I, that, that means a lot though, that's saying a lot that I can get a real world drift car. This is the model of the car that I'm gonna be getting, is the uh, first model RX-7. Absolutely love the car. Absolutely love the customizability that you can do to it and how sick it looks. See how much angle these guys get it as opposed to me. All right, all right, you're messing with us. Nice angle, man. Nice angle. Oh, <laughs> I threw myself off. That was uh, that was beautiful. So I definitely have noticed that I, I have a lot more recording time that goes into these videos, but I have so much fun that I kind of just like lose. I'm not leading, homeboy. I'm still a rookie. Ask my fan base; they'll tell you. So this is usually when I like go on and try to find another lobby. I'm not going to do it this time. These two drifters right here are staying pretty consistent with it. They're staying on a good line. I can't really complain with anything they're doing. And uh, it's teaching me a lot. Now, the angle thing, I know. I know. I'm lacking on the angle. The clipping point thing, I know. I get it. I, I, there's a lot to learn. I'm just trying to hold the damn drift, all right? <laughs>
Actually, if you're just smashing it off the rev limiter, well, I, I kind of have to at some points in time. Maybe you need to watch a little formula drift, huh? What happened to our other guy? He over there? Yeah, he's over there. He takes a lot of breaks. Don't worry about him. Oh, he lost me. Having fun with this guy here. All right, one more line. That should do it for this video. I'm having a good time in this car. This car is probably tuned up the best of any other car I've drifted so far. I can really seem to control it now. Obviously, the angle, this guy's just showing me up on the angle. It may not be the best guy to be drifting with for the video, but hey, you got to give credit where credit is due. The guy is holding some, some sick angle. Oh, I messed up that one terribly. No one's fault but my own. Peace out, guy. Definitely had a good time with you. I'm out. All right, so that one's going to do it for this video. I know I didn't show you guys the tune, so I'm going to head back to the garage. I'll show you guys the tune, and we will go from there. All right, so we'll show you the tune that we did put on this thing. We left the tires alone, the gearing. This is what we're at. You can look at the numbers on the right if you want to get something similar to that. Of course, this is completely just off the top of the head. This is not in any type of advanced or you know professional-style drift tune. This is just something I came up with, something that was really treating me all right. Alignment, we went all out with the camber in the front, negative. A uh, little bit in the rear as well. Toe, nothing. Angle, obviously a high front caster on it. This is what we're at for the anti-roll bars, which is substantially different from what we had before on the uh, MX-5. It's like we got it all the way down, even in the front and the rear. I did not raise the front like I did in the other car, although I don't know if that would help or not. Um, this is where we have it, 88.2 and 88.1, 888 888.2 and 888.1. Um, so actually, we're doing the exact same layout there, pretty much. Dampening is... Pretty much the same as well there, 13.8 and 13.0. Running some pretty soft bump stiffness, whatever that is. Aero, brake, and the differential, this is the setting. So that is what we're at. We got a four, just under four seconds for zero to 60. That's if you got traction control on. I don't think I can get up there in 10 seconds without it on. Uh, braking, all that good stuff. So, you know, whatever it is, I'm not exactly sure, but this is a, a lot of fun in this car. I was able to hold my drift a lot better. You know, obviously the angle, I'm getting that the angle kind of comes from the transfers, throwing the body weight and then holding that down. So I'm trying to get that down. Obviously, you're probably seeing a little bit of skill improvement in me. I feel like I'm improving at least a little bit, but 
you know what I'm saying. There's always uh, there's always going to be improvements there for me. So I appreciate you guys all tuning in, liking, comment, and subscribing, sharing the videos if you're sharing the videos. Had fun with this one, the James Dean S15 Sylvia. As always, guys, I hope you all stay happy, stay positive out there, and we will definitely speak to you next time.